And we 
when he was taking his sacrifice to God, and also the flame was going in so his offering also gave God praise and to see how big God If 
Uh, we're just going to read until to where it's going to be at 6 o'clock. So we're going to ask Mama Colette to just read for us, please. In Hebrews, Hebrews 18, uh, Psalms, Psalms 18, uh, 16. And you're going to read uh, until 19. Other people when they look at us, they say, "Oh, you know, you're showing my body, you're 
they say that oh that will not happen to me because oh no, I'm being drunk. I go to the uh, it's not about being drunk. It's only the goodness of God and God will oh, God have It is because God wanted you to be alive. And uh, just look at how many people you knew that were uh, prostitutes. They did all that they wanted to do in the world. But after a few days, they got married. And you say that how come this girl that have been selling their bodies they are getting married and I'm here I am not getting I'm not married yet. And when they get married they start having kids they start having kids they are living good. And you say that why why God me? But let me just tell you it's not that God is just favoring. But it's because God loves everybody the way they are. But uh, they're not telling you that because God is favoring the prostitutes, so you should go and start. But just remember that God loves you the way you are. And His love. He doesn't want the love to stop. He wants people to come to Him. So that those who are saved, like us, who will get to the day that we will have to praise God and thank Him for everything that He has done. To say that God, thank you for saving us, for not leaving us to live a worldly life and bringing us to You. And also another goodness of God we have to see. It's the goodness of God in everybody's life. Uh, if we look at other people who are living in a different in, in a life of suffering, in a life that you don't know what you will eat, in the, the life that your salary cannot even pay any. Uh, and you, you say, you, you ask yourself, how was I able to pay for my children's How was I able to buy food for my family? It's only those who have gone through those situations that will know how God is. Our problem today, we forget God. We think that it's because of the work that we're doing and they're paying us, that's why we are living the work.
katika kipindi alikuwa anaenda siku wakati ya siku hiyo siku yote mzima Mungu alikuwa anapatia miujiza inatendeka. Amen. So we as a church as well. Kwa hiyo sisi kama kanisa pia tunaomba kila asubuhi. Whatever you are. Kupote ambapo uko. This is not a barrier. Ah kweli kukua mali hiyo ya kusema si ndio kizuizi. Tutakuwa tunaka tunafanya tunakuwa na unaona tunakuwa na mtaa wa telefoni. So we made this ways. Ah kwa hiyo tulifanya ikuwa hivyo. Ah 4 5. kuanzia saa kumi asubuhi mpaka saa kumi na moja. 5 to 6. Kuanza saa kumi asubuhi mpaka saa kumi na moja. Ah unaweza kuanza saa kumi na moja mpaka saa kumi na mbili. Kwa hiyo uchague sasa saa yako. Kwa maana kwa wengine wanatakiwa waende ku kazi asubuhi na saa 12 kwa hiyo leza zaidi ya saa 10 mpaka saa 11. The majority that we had online they preferred 5 to 6. Lakini watu wengine ambao waende tukutana nao kwa telefoni walisema wana wanapenda zaidi ile ya kwanza saa 10 asubuhi mpaka saa 12. But also there were few that are according to their maybe depression work so they preferred 5. Na wengine ambao wanasema kwamba wanatakiwa wachane kabla ya kazi kwa hiyo wataanza saa kumi mpaka saa kumi na moja. So whichever way uh, feeds you just take an hour to see the first. Kwa hiyo mtu yote ile ambao unataka kwa utapata muda kwa hii chukua hiyo hata saa moja ili kukutana na Mungu. Connect the online. Utuweze kujiconnect kukulinia na telefoni. We are free. Utasikia wengine unaomba. Just praise the Lord Jesus. Na kweli una unaomba kisi Mungu anapoongoza. Anyone they will have something to share or share it and that people will continue. Kama uko mtu anataka changie neno anakuwa anachangia neno alafu tunaendelea na mambo. It's an open line for everybody. Kwa hiyo tunafungua nafasi kwa ajili ya kila mtu. God will strengthen us and our blessing. Na Mungu atatupatia nguvu na atatukaribisha. The weekly program we change a few things in Bible studies. Kuhusu programu zote za wiki na masomo ya Biblia maafundisho. I know last time we gave a program that it looks a little bit more busy. Ah uh, wakati nyingine tulikuwa na bana program yenye ilionekana watu walikuwa wapati muda. We made a little bit of some changes. Kwa hiyo tuliweza kubadilisha ile program. What will happen now? Kwa hiyo sasa kitatendeka Monday Mondays Monday evening there will be nothing. Kwa hiyo jioni uh, sio kwanza tutakuwa hatuna kitu. We are trying to uh, we are trying to revive back our live program and broadcast our live program every Monday. Uh, kwa maana tunataka tena turudishe ile tena program yetu ya kila siku ya, ya kwanza jioni. So, kwa hiyo tutakuwa tunafanya ile program ya Sunday. So then uh, Tuesday. Uh, siku ya pili. Only Tuesday those are the meeting that was on Zoom on Tuesday we will continue meeting the evening. Wale ambao wako nakutana na kwa pastor Kajoro wataendelea tu kukutanana hiyo siku ya pili. And Wednesday na siku ya tatu jioni all those who meeting monday and wednesday at uh, the first and first place wale wote ambao walikuwa wanakutana na siku ya kwanza na siku ya tatu jioni kwa papa senator so they remain only wednesday watabakia tu na hiyo siku ya tatu so tuesday we are kwa hiyo siku ya pili tutakuwa kwa pastor Gajon and then uh, wednesday we are the first and first place alafu siku ya tatu tutakuwa katika family ya papa senator kwa pamoja Thursday evening we are still on the telephone prayer. Ah kwa hiyo siku ya nne jioni tunakutana na telefoni kuombi. Ili tuweze kupatia nafasi wengine ambao wako tayari. Na siku ya tano gonna be the Bible study for the West people who will live in the West side. Itakuwa ni mafundisho ya Biblia kwa wale ambao wanaishi ku West. So we are going to we have adopted only one place at the Papa Francis West. Kwa hiyo tulipata mfasi ya Papa Francis. So we there since the day of Friday. Tutakuwa pale kwa saa 12 ya jioni kila siku ya tano. Watu wote ambao wako ngambo ya West. So we will want to meet in the Papa Francis West. Tutakuwa tunakutana So I know last time uh, there was a uh, commander by his chance was really so we get to the house. Ah najua kile kipindi kingine tulikuwa tunakutana kwa mamana ba lakini tunatoa ile program. Also my place was a really so I guess I should check it out. Na ilikuwa ni nyumba mbili hata pia na nyumba ya pastel na pia walitoa. But we are only meeting for 